citizen on Kefatu. The reason I have always called for a national dialogue is because a government must be responsive to the needs of its people. Fatu. Tell you one thing, if I'm me as think? an individual, if I know that there is somebody that I definitely wrong, yeah. I will be bold enough, I will go to the party, to I will appeal to him and apologize him. I have to make decisions today, because I don't make decisions lightly. I investigate, I do my research, I get the facts, I call the experts, I, I summon meetings, I get the technician, then I reflect. And I make a decision. Why did you lose the election? Well, we lost the election because of treatment registration. We had evidence of people who registered before the opening of the registration. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Oso. And we want to use this opportunity to say Ramadan Karim to all of you watching. Uh, this is our first show on the Ramadan. And of course, it's a great honor to have my brother, Ahmed Jizah, in the studio. Ahmed, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, sister. It's wonderful yes. being here once again. Once again. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ramadan Karim. Yeah, same to you. Um, of course, I want to seize this opportunity to welcome our brother, um, Ahmed Jite um, to this platform. It's the first time we are saying platform and I'm you know, hoping to have a very interesting conversation. Yeah. It's always interesting to have Ahmed. Thank you. Looking for, forward to. For me, um, for me, it's not more about what has happened in the past, but what's the future, especially as you um, vie for the position of um, chairmanship. Yeah. But Thank you. What, what you can do and how will you do these things? That's what is more important. Thanks. Interesting. <coughs> well, let's start with, you know, just as what happened recently. Um, you are a founding member of the NPP. Um, I mean, no, if I'm the NPP, I'm not going to be in the NPP. Because no one for no one. But you were vying for the position of the chairmanship, and then uh, you guys went on primaries, and unfortunately, you did not. You have not, you you were not chosen. CDC was chosen as the candidate. But Ahmed, when you guys went to the primaries, uh, you guys signed declarations that whoever is chosen to be the NPP, uh, whoever uh, you know is selected by the by the delegates, you will you will support. Why didn't you support? Because CD was the one that emerged the winner. Well, uh, thank you so much. CD did not emerge the winner. Once again, let me uh, send appreciation to all the viewers out there. Your viewers. I'm sure um, um, a lot of them are very, very interested in uh, no, what yeah. is going to well, be discussed here. So yeah. CD did not win the elections. Okay. Uh, the primaries was won by me, very fair and squarely. Mm -hmm. And it was taken away from me and given to uh, CD. That undertaking that we were asked to sign, mm -hmm. I'm sure that was specifically directed at me. That was, that was specifically made for me. And that was why it was not only the undertaking that we were asked to sign, mm -hmm. but it was made a requirement as well that when you are speaking to the delegates, yeah. part of your speech must be yeah. to assure people that whoever wins amongst us you will, support. will be having my full-time support, mm -hmm. which I did. Yeah. But I won the elections. So I'm not supporting CD because, you know, the circumstances under which um, that signature was made is in the circumstance that uh, prevailed. So CD is not my candidate and I'm not going to support him. And you said you're still NPP, but you're going for independent. Yes. And, okay, let's go still go back to the election. Mm -hmm. um, 
the funny thing is the chewing gum voting with the chewing gum that was really funny and i must say i had the uh, chairperson of the, the npp west coast <coughs> region lamin 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 uh, jata and he mm -hmm. made clear that the lady who who chewed the gum did explain that she was the one who chewed it and mm -hmm. she was a delegate <coughs> she voted for you mm -hmm. and he also made clear that yes um there was no there was no excess vote if there was, then you could have said, oh, we will disqualify. Mm -hmm. And me and so many other people believe that, yes, you are the winner. But again, did you go back to the drawing table with your people and have a conversation? Because at the end of the day, uh, all of you wanted a unified party. Where, did you have a doors open to have a conversation with your team to make sure that you go back to the drawing board and just fix whatever happened? My team as in NPP? NPP, yes. No, we did not. So far to from the start, <clears throat> we knew there was a plot. A plot to either humiliate me, disrespect me, and perhaps, you know, something else that probably God did not make, you know, materialize. Um, as you have said, okay. I'm a founding member of the National People's Party, and my contribution is not you know, new to anyone who is interested in following Gambian politics. Yeah. Um, I spoke about my interest to vie for this position long time ago, yeah. uh, almost one year ago. <clears throat> and I um, presented my plans and programs for the people through my different social media uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. And um, there wasn't an executive member in the previous executive that I did not inform about my interest. And all of them responded very positively. Uh, when I came, of course, um, I've had discussions again. And uh, best wishes were extended. And we went to our primaries, and like you said, I won. But you go with people to a negotiation table when they are willing to be truthful, when they are willing to be genuine and be honest. And those that I am dealing with, from all indications, they were not ready and are not ready to be honest. And I will not deal with people that are not honest. Or in this case... Mm -hmm. At least. They are not honest. They are not ready to be truthful. They are not ready to put forward that dignity that uh, is expected of them. So I will not, they have not come to me to talk to me about family or so. Because I knew, in fact, what happened actually is very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, um, there were a lot of aspirants from all over, you know, various local government areas, mm -hmm. not only West Coast. Mm -hmm. uh, in KMC, for example, yeah. National People's Party actually asked a candidate to resign from a ministerial position to come and um, seek for that elected office of a mayor. Mm -hmm. um, there were candidates, about eight or nine, but all these candidates were called, were invited by authorities with respect and understanding. And they appealed to them to leave the position for that individual, except for Mustafa Toure, who I'm not aware if, if yeah. he bought in or not. Yeah. And, you know, in West Coast, where I come from, mm -hmm. there were also candidates and some, including the incumbent, was invited actually by the head of state and party leader with utmost respect and understanding that we own this party yeah. and we have to table out and dialogue our differences. Mm -hmm. You know, Konate, who was also a member, was also, you know, uh, uh, approached to leave the competition. Mm -hmm. And, you know, nobody reached out to me. Nobody reached and out to me. And there isn't, for that, no, for that not, initial a, thing. not single individual. So uh, there isn't any individual among these people who is more NPP than me? Is it because they wanted you to be the candidate? Who? Maybe. No, no. You so, so the plan was the plan was very simple. If they wanted me to be a candidate, reso enormous resources was mobilized from the highest office and through cabinet ministers. When you say highest office, I, I would say president's office. Okay. Uh, through um, uh, um, 
you know, cabinet ministers, mm -hmm. cabinet ministers from West Coast, the governor, chiefs from West Coast, and national executive members of NPP residing in West Coast campaign rigorously. And in fact, chiefs were instructed to call delegates that reside in their various chiefdoms to inform them that the president said his candidate is CDCC and that you must vote for CDCC. And these people came to me, executive members that were assigned by the party to preside over and be referees for West Coast region, were even part of the campaign. Lamin said the very prominent among them, among them and my own very brother, Ibrahim Asila. These were the people that were at the high table to conduct the elections. Yeah. They were campaigning against me and other candidates in favor of CDC. So they knew what was coming. They were aware of it, very much aware. And they have decided not to, you know, approach me or talk to me. So I knew from the start there was a plot against me. Why would your party, a party you helped to raise mm -hmm. from the ground, Mm -hmm. Ibrahim Asila was like your twin brother in the campaign. You crisscrossed the West Coast with him. Mm -hmm. You knew each other. You worked tirelessly to elect this president. Yes. Why would the party that you worked so hard for plot against you in this way? Against somebody who a lot of us believe, if he was NPP, was never very visual. Not only was, not only about him not being NPP, but he's not even electable. He's not somebody, even his own community in Burufudi has anything. Well, well, that, that you cannot prove that. Now. I, I, 100 percent. I can tell until you. Until after the election. No, I can tell you. You know, okay. you know, a lot of factors will come into play. Okay. Later. Yeah. Let's but that I can yeah. tell you. Okay. He's not electable. People don't have. They, look, you know, it's it, it's sad. But you know, to to just be clear here, mm -hmm. I mean, I knew from the beginning there was something to this whole thing. And that's why mm -hmm. West Coast NPP was very particular about media because this national, you know, the, 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 those in charge mm -hmm. brought the media. We, ours was a lot more televised than anywhere. Yes. In fact, there are places that you, you have not even seen their, we, their competition. We have not this was that. properly, it was properly orchestrated to say, in fact, I was on the ground one of the officials from the national executive that was presiding over, I overheard the individual speaking to someone on phone saying, Jita will not even have five votes here. The individual was swearing, yes, among the people that were assigned by the party to be just, to be honest, and to follow the due process of the law and the provisions of the party. We are the ones saying this. And in fact, giving money to candidates for them not to vote for me. All of these things were in the open. I stuck to the, 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 the principles and rules, and I left everything to God. With all that, I beat the hell out of them. How did you do that? I mean, first and foremost, Gambians are not stupid. And one thing about Gambians is that they are very just. They may be poor and not having anything, but their dignity is something they protect. These people that came to vote, most of them started NPP when it was youth movement. And I started with a lot of them. We transformed it into Borough Fans Club for almost two, three years. And we, when we got the strength and all the structures, we gave the, the, the party a name. It was actually a National Development Party, NDP. Mm. But that name leaked and we changed it to NPP. So these people knew what I have done for the party up to this level. But not only that, they knew I am capable. When you have a position of authority in the party, and this is a position that, you know, you have members who have the capability and the ability to take care of that position for the party. Why go out to look for someone else? Because that person said he was also NPP. Hey, that's, that's a, that, I don't want, to, I'm fasting. I don't want to be, you know, that's not true. He's not NPP. That's, that's, that's not true. That is not true. But, but Jide, a question a lot of people are asking. 
you were super close to the first family. Mm -hmm. You are close to the NPP executive. Mm -hmm. Why would they choose anybody against you? Let's be honest. Yeah. Is it because mm -hmm. your, of your problems with the first, first lady? Because obviously there was a time when you came out and made some serious, serious I don't know whether it's, I'll call it allegations, because mm -hmm. I cannot substantiate it. Yeah, allegations. You can call it allegations. Lady. Yeah. And also, there are other rumors that this GTA is uncontrollable. Mm -hmm. If you go to, uh, if NPP elects you as their chairman, you go there and then the presidency or the party is not, will not be able to control you. Who knows next next election you you want to challenge the president so these are some of the things that were coming from the party circles but most importantly your issues with the first lady did it you if, cannot fight the president's wife if, and one position no, so so yeah i mean the the party does not belong to the president and it does not belong to first family let us make that very clear if anybody thinks that way you're fooling yourself and there wouldn't be a future for the party if that is anything that anyone believes in. Now, the effect of that is yeah. just coming out. Because yeah. right now, NPP's win is out of the equation in West Coast. What do you mean? Because they are not going to win. It's either me or Yankuba. That, write it. Write it down. It's either what is, Ahmad what is Hita, date? It's either Ahmad Hita is going to win this election or Yankuba Dabo is going to win this election. NPP is out of the equation. Wallahi, I can swear. That. Yes, they will not win this election. That I can say that. Because what they have done is injustice. What they have done is irresponsible. What they have done mm -hmm. is not in line with the principles of our party. Is no genuine individual, nobody that is within his right frame of mind, will want to take a route as irresponsible as the one that some of these people have taken. And the good thing is, you have just 0.001% of the party that is, that, that is involved that, or that, you know, orchestrated and implemented this, you know, undemocratic, uh, 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 undemocratic behavior. 90% of the party militants is with me. I can assure you, even national executive is divided. That I can tell you. The regional executive, the last time I checked, out of 23, 16 of them voted for me. And they are still with me. They will keep quiet. They will not talk. But when the ballot box comes, because they know that we build this party, no one person has authority over everybody. This is not a dictatorship. This is democracy. And party leader would always say, His Excellency Baro, you can say you own your party. Mm -hmm. But to say you own people, that's not true. And I think the same thing will come back to haunt the party for the undemocratic, the injustice that the party has, has, has um, uh, uh, mated against a founding member. You have just spilled the beans, JT. Do you think, yeah, <laughs> do you think it's because of your issues with the first lady, that's why uh, the party uh, is going against you? No, uh, uh, that is, that I'm, uh, I'm saying, what do I, you don't think? Think, I don't think what that do you is. Think uh, well, is the problem, okay, Jite, well, Jite, look, well, Jite, so, look, so there are you people. You are the part, darling of the NPP, Benga Lone, Ahmed Jite, now do the NPP, you can tell the commander, you can tell the NPP, you can tell the KJ, you can tell the NPP, and obviously a lot of people, me included believe you are a good candidate and nobody will just throw away a good candidate like that there must be a reason GT. what what do you think is the reason why? whatever reason i might not know because i have not had any discussions with anyone that will complain to say hey probably this is the reason and that's why i said whatever the reason evil reason is it has backfired because they couldn't win. I came here and I spent two weeks in the country from the president to the last person mm -hmm. or whoever they have assigned to campaign, campaign, including chiefs and everyone else. I still beat the hell out of them. Now, they wanted to go for a re-election. The entire world, the, that, 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 the, the media was invited to humiliate me. Let's see how we are going to humiliate him. He will not even have five votes. And he can be disgraced. This was the plan. But everybody knows how it turned out to be. Now, they had nothing to say. They went back to the president. In fact, some ministers, they went there and said, you know, GTA Minister Bannon. Mm -hmm. After all the resources you were given, 
after all the time and, and opportunity and the power you have and influence, you couldn't even convince 81 candidates, 81 electorates of a party that you are in charge of against a small young man who is not even in the country. 81 delegates, just 81. You spend the entire time with all your influence. You cannot even, you cannot even get half of them to vote for you. You have nothing to go back and tell whoever assigned you to do that but to say Ahmad Jita insulted our parents. They did their second election. Even in my absence, even if when I said I did not want to compete, I don't want it, I had 22 votes. Yeah. And they had 47. I would have thought that when we go for the second round, the whole 81 delegates would have, have voted, voted for them. Yeah. And still they cannot learn that what you are carrying on is sham, is disgrace before the whole world. That a ruling party, first and foremost, you know IEC exists. You cannot even use marbles from IEC. Chingom election, Hollywood Chingom. Hollywood Chingom. Very interesting, but Jida, I'm afraid you, you, just, you have just spilled the beans. Um, you've said um, some of the delegates were given money yeah. um, so that they vote for the candidate of their choice yeah i saw it i um, saw it and now you've said that you've just said that 23 in the, at the regional level 23 out of 23 16 are still with you don't you think now that you've revealed this the national executive or whoever from the top mm -hmm. can decide to now extend financial hands hands to these people i mean to see how best they can Get them on their well, side. So, 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 and that so, will destroy your country. So the problem is, the problem now is, you have, you know, statistically, about 460,000 electorates. Mm -hmm. And you know, government politics, you are a political scientist. If you combine all the voters that are loyal to parties, it would not be up to 50%. The other 50% of Sad eligible majority. voters... Mm -hmm are non-partisan. Yeah. They don't have party. They don't belong to any party. Yeah. They only participate when it's time for elections. Mm -hmm. And they look at individuals and circumstances and perhaps policies and programs that individual parties will present. Now, if you cannot even convince 81 delegates of your own party that you have done everything for, for almost months, somebody just came with no money, for just two weeks and, and, and sweep that poll under your feet. How would you spend money on 400,000, majority of whom don't even like you now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I really how, how do you, how do you even, uh, it, me, you know, you know, no amount of money will change the minds of people because they know this is a disgrace. This is, this is an insult to the democracy that Gambians fought for. But a lot of people said, GT, um, the reason why this is whole all messy for NPP is because Sirifo Sonko, the incumbent, mm -hmm. is an NPP candidate, mm -hmm. like supporter. Mm -hmm. He was from UDP. Mm -hmm. And Afongo in his words, na UDP la Sirango Tanga someone on President Barwe. If anybody should be rewarded, mm -hmm. you know, without going through any primary, it should be Sirifo. Mm -hmm. I mean, he said, combine what he has done in West Coast, you combine all the regions. I don't know how factual that can be. He said, it's more than what he has done, it's more than if you combine KMB, Kama, and Banjul, all of all the other regions, if you combine them. But my point is, Sirifo is incumbent. Mm -hmm. And the, your party, <coughs> NPP, they have rewarded incumbents in other previous elections. Even the National Assembly election, the MPs that had left their parties, they did not put any candidate against them. But you all came out and wanted to run against him. Mm -hmm. Why? Did you believe City 4 was not doing enough for West Coast? Why the need for the party even to put up a, a primary against him when he was the incumbent? Well, there were a lot of things. I mean, look, uh, when it comes to uh, 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 politics, mm -hmm. It, it's very important that you listen to the grassroots, the popular opinion. Okay. And uh, the 
public opinion wasn't as good about Sirifu for various reasons. Okay. But more important than that is that our party is a democratic party. Gambia is a democratic country. Even if Sirifo built roads worth billions and with gold and diamond, mm. when the term or his tenure ends, every Gambian has a right mm. to apply for that office. Yeah. Every party member has a right to apply to contest for the ticket. If you believe you have better ideas like I believe, I have better ideas and programs than Sirifo, I applied. And I believe I have better chance of winning than Sirifo. So whether he has done something or not, or, or, or he should be rewarded again, is, is, is left to the electorate, those that are going to be delegates. He, he can still go and be on the ballot box. And if people feel that is what should happen, they should translate that to the delegates, and delegates should have voted for him. But then we have not reached there. I'm sure he had reached an agreement mm -hmm. with whoever he had a discussion with, in this case maybe uh, the party leader. So to me, those things are not that much material. Now you're going independent. Yes. And you still say you are NPP. I saw a lot of NPP supporters say there is no <coughs> NPP independent. I saw people saying it openly that they should not know NPP person should vote for any NPP independent because there's only in the NPP if you want to be independent why are you not bold enough to say I am going independent I am independent well well NPP. okay so personally like when I started this campaign I told people I'm going independent I never say to anybody I am NPP independent I am an independent candidate. Okay. Am I a member of the National People's Party? Yes. Okay. Well, hey, you know, you can be in the same compound and have issues. Mm. And you stand on your principles. And perhaps after that particular issue is solved, you look at whether I I it's worth coming together or maybe move away from each other. I give an example as, you know, in the case of a country, parties are many countries. Parties are run similar to that of a state, mm -hmm. but in a, in, a, in a small form. Yeah. The fact that you don't like Yajame and the way he ruled this country, you know, does not make you or did not make you, you know, renounce your Gambian citizenship and go and settle in Senegal. Mm. You didn't do that. You're still no. a Gambian. You fight against Jame, but you maintain that you're a Gambian. He's the head of state. He's in charge of the Gambia, but you still maintain that you're a Gambian. But Jame, Bokumachi. So the party... What they've done is wrong. It is not in line with the party principles. It's not in line with any democracy. It's not in line with any genuine, you know, responsible or, 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 or just societal values. So, Bokumachi, but the party I built, that is still my party. Because majority of that party membership, 98, 99% of that party membership, is against what happened, uh, and they are not in support of it. Um, I, 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 I will come. I will come to my my own analysis of um, why I think personally um, maybe the top mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the National People's Party wouldn't want uh, Ahmed Jita as the candidate um, in West Coast. But like I mentioned, I mean, it's when I say um, sixteen out of the twenty-three, um, how the national executive could see how they could influence them not to be on your side. It's not necessarily the voters, how they could get money to the voters. Because you've just said that, um, you know, some of the delegates were given money, resources were pumped. And for my own assessment, probably, probably, it's because of the fact that money was pumped, given to these people, that was why, you know, CD could even secure 30 votes. If probably, probably if there was no money giving, every delegate was leaving your own, to go on your own, to decide on your own, Maybe we wouldn't have been at this stage. Yeah. Ahmed, Ahmed could have, you know, just um, beat CD with uh, maybe 10 votes margin or 20 votes margin. I'm just saying. But the fact that um, money was given, I was able to, because I had this allegation that money was given to some delegates. And I was like, maybe that is even the reason why we are <clears> in this situation, kind of funny situation. Because if money was not given, probably Ahmed would have just win or won with a landslide. But that is why I'm saying that the national executive, the fact that they know that there are some members of the regional executive that are still with GTA, and GTA has a, a very good support base in West Coast region, 
knowing fully well because even people that you talk to that are not even members of NPP. Yeah. Sometimes will tell you this for a fact that well, Jite is 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 a good candidate for NPP. Mm -hmm. He has the chances of winning, and I want to believe that personally, NPP um, wouldn't have an iota of doubt that if we put up Jite, he wouldn't win this election. They wouldn't have an iota of that. He will he could win this election. But now the thing is, like you were saying, the issue with the first family, that's even one thing. For me, that is not very important here because that could be resolved. That issue could be resolved. But the other issue is, like UDP experience with their, with their chairman and some of their parliamentarians after the 2017 election. Mm -hmm. And just like CD, I'm sorry, CD4 said, Nga UDP la Siri Ngota Nga di President Barola. Now, they might not have doubt whether Ahmed will win, but they're thinking of post-election. Yep. Now, these are parties <clears throat> that really want to have a grip over their chairmen or parliamentarians or councillors, you call them. They want to have control over them. They want the, their councillors or their chairmen or their mayors to do their bidding. Whatever they want, they want it to do for them. Mm -hmm. And it seems like from all angles, from the problem that Ahmed has with... Um, the first family, even President Barrow himself, it seems like from all indications, Ahmad might not be that type of chairman that will be easily controlled by the party, that will dance or do whatever the party, the party wishes, like City 4 will want to do, for example. And with that, they might, they, 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 it, it might be the fact that maybe they are afraid that we might lose Ahmad at one point. And also, a lot of what a lot of people say, because um, I've interacted <coughs> with people who know you from Newsrat base. <coughs> mm -hmm. And personally, myself, you may not remember, but I remember, was it in 2008 or 2009, in Gambia High, you came to one of our classes and you were teaching mathematics. And people will be like, that was since at high school. And he has this strong conviction that he could become the president of this country. <laughs> I'm just trying to build up theories, okay. what people say out there. Mm. And President Barrow even choosing a <coughs> vice president. <coughs> he said he doesn't want a vice president who will be eyeing his position. Mm -hmm. Okay? And if yep. they are seeing somebody as young as he might be, mm -hmm. okay, coming from West Coast region. That's the powerhouse. Very, yeah, that's, that's, that's you're the talking about 460. Mm -hmm. um, you know, 460,000? Yes, yeah. almost voters. 500. Almost yeah. 500,000 voters. That's a very great chunk of yeah. our overall voter population. Yeah. Somebody coming from there, if he should win the chairmanship there, especially with a landslide, and is able to have, because this is grassroots, grassroots politics, mm -hmm. is able to have control over grassroots politics in that area, he could at one point even challenge yep. President Barrow to become the president of this country one day. Huh. I'm just I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. In fact, we want that. We don't want somebody to leave this leave this country for three times or four times. No, we want somebody else, somebody vibrant, somebody who can change the narratives. That's what we want. But as politicians, be it Barrow, be it those ministers that presided over um, that election, could have thought like, look, Ahmad could become a threat. Not only to President Barrow as president, but also to the NPP. We might not be able to have... So they might see Ahmad as that stubborn young guy that really they have to neutralize at this stage before he grows feathers. And if that happens, I mean, the, the issue might be out of control and they can't do anything to Ahmad. So this is something, these are theories people build out there, that you have presidential ambition. You want to be... Pre even though you might not have said this openly, but you have ambitions to become president of this country one day. Is it the case that Ahmad could pose a threat to President Barrow to become the president of this country one day? Do you think these are factors that could have contributed to why they <coughs> gang up <coughs> against you? I mean, you know, like you've said, a lot of theories were put forward as to the reason for um, all this situation that uh, we're in. But let's say if, if it's about being controlled, mm -hmm. I, I don't know any individual in his right frame of mind will want to be controlled. I mean, you sent me out to go and get the education and have an independent mind to think. I think if there is any right term, we have to, as two adults or as partners, 
a national building, be having dialogues and conversations that are based on mutual respect and understanding. Mm -hmm. Controllable, on you know, a lot of them say it. I mean, GTA is uncontrollable. Why would you want to control me? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want? Because that is that is, that is their politics. That, that's we're not saying it's fine, right, right. but that's the politics. Yeah, of and, politics. I, and I'm you not. Know, and I'm not. I don't agree to that. You know. You this see, is the, the issue is mm -hmm. MPP has set of rules. We have policies. We have programs. We have a vision. Yeah. And I believe in that vision on paper that we want to help develop our country infrastructurally, improve health sector, high quality education get people what they want, and we want what is at central government level to be replicated at local government level. Mm -hmm. The blueprint, I believe in it 100%. If that is NPP's objective, if that is the objective of President Barrow and the cabinet ministers, they have nothing to worry about. Because that is why I left a $6,000 monthly salary job in Canada with my very beautiful cutest woman in the world mm. with my children yeah. and travel here my mother dad being insulted for no reason mm -hmm. that's what i've uh, that is the reason i have left my family to come here to help build the lives of my people that's that's all so i mean if that is what you believe in as cabinet ministers if that is what you believe in as a head of state and party leader why would we have a problem but again Nobody can control it. Because I take an example, and I'm very blunt with my troops. President Barrow is not doing everything that the party wants. If left to NPP, not all the cabinet ministers he has in his cabinet would be in the cabinet. So has he followed all that NPP wants? No. Even this vice president, you ask 80% of the, 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 the NPP, they will tell you he's not, this guy is not NPP. If President Barrow dies, God forbid, today, there's no NPP because the man is not NPP. And in politics, you have to, if what they say is actually what they meant, if President Barrow is not there, Jala is not NPP, nobody ever but, knows Jala. I have NPP. a problem with when you say somebody is not NPP. What do you, what do you use to measure? Like somebody so, not NPP. So, so, you know, okay, so, you know, if you, you okay, <laughs> it's, it's as simple no, yes, as... Because people can argue <coughs> that, well, I am NPP. Like Sidi was saying, but, uh, he was walking on the ground. I mean, he, he was not... Uh, man, he's, he's not. He's not. But I mean, when you say people I mean, are not NPP, what do you mean by that? They are not. They, they, have, not, they, have, they have not participated in, mm -hmm. our, in our activities. Mm -hmm. They have not contributed anything. Are they not so members? If, no, they are not. They are not. You may not no, know. They, they are just using, this is just politics. They are not. I mean, they are not members of But NPP. Jalo can say so, I am NPP. So Jalo is not, for example. Do you, have, not the, a party. Do you have the official no. list of all the members? No, but Jalo is not. That I know. And I know? He is not even into politics. My brother, just, let's just agree. Okay? No. <laughs> I mean, Babu Karboy is a minister. He's not a member of NPP. Juf mm. in trade. He's not a member of NPP. These are not members yeah, but of But sometimes you need technocrats too. But, again, again. Yes, NPP would tell you, if you ask the party, mm -hmm. they would tell you, we can produce technocrats from NPP. NPP can argue that. So what I'm trying to say is simple. You don't always have to ask people to be, like you say, the party controls you and do what they want. You know, that's not how things work. And if they want, that is what they want, they are making some very big mistakes. But now you have, um, you have violated the principles of the party. What is the, what, what I principles? I mean, you are not supposed to run as an independent, right? Well, that is if the party plays by the rule. So, okay, they are assuming they, are assuming they did because they did a re-election and they said CD won. It, now, you going independent, if the party expels you, will they be right in expelling you? Well, let, let the party decide that. I'm here. They, nobody is stopping them from expelling or retaining me. I'm a founding member. The no, executive are there. They, they are the ones that are elected to, to take care of the decision making. No, you are already retained. They are at liberty. No, they are liberty to expel me. I'll go independent. And no, and I say this, not even vice presidency position. If you sack Jalo and ask me to come to leave this position, I will not. Why? Be, uh, why would I? Now, this I, I tell people. I, like, they have started coming to me to talk to me about positions. After the after the after this now election. after they have carried out whatever they carried out they've come to talk to me about positions in fact director general position of GRTS is mentioned ambassadorial whatever somebody even came to tell me in fact ministerial position 
Fatu, I was here mm -hmm. in September 2021. The election was in December. Mm -hmm. I resigned from my job. I left my family. I have been here for six solid months to make sure our party gets into office. And that is not news to anybody in this yeah. country. It's one year, three months since Barori assumed office mm -hmm. as an elected president. If these people were ever interested in partnering or in including GTA in nation building, they have appointed so many people that I have better contribution record to the party than, 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 than those. And there are people that are given positions, I can tell you, probably I have better qualification than those people. I have a lot more energy and I have a lot more perhaps records publicly in terms of contributing to the well-being of this country than those people. Why did they not give me a job for one year, three months, if they ever had any interest? But right. now they want to. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, uh, these are questions that, like, he's a political scientist mm -hmm. and here an engineer and a statistician sitting. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't just go to school to become stupid. It, we have to have the ability to think logically mm -hmm. and to, you know, put forward possibilities, scenarios, and, and weigh them. That is the essence of education. Yeah. Now, they have not only done that, for about, since eight, uh, uh, July uh, last year, yeah. I declared my intention for this position. Mm -hmm. Definitely reach out to me, to talk to me. If they have any interest, like in Bakari Baji's case, they put forward Bakari. Anybody that is contesting against Bakari, they've talked to the person. In the West Coast, those that they think can perhaps reduce CD's chances of winning, if I'm present, they spoke to them. They didn't speak to me. They did not offer me anything. And they have offered these people something. Now, we've gone to an election. I won an election. They denied me my win and gave it to someone else. Now that all that happened, and they now know what is at stake, and the, 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 the possible, you know, <coughs> disastrous scenarios that are in place now, they want to call me to convince me for a position, an individual with that, that kind of track record against you, will give you anything out of goodwill? Hell no. Whatever they plan, even whatever position they have for me, there is an evil intention behind is, it. Is your, is your rejection of those, of those offers out of principles or just because you, okay, this is like elected position mm -hmm. and appointed position. Mm -hmm. If you become minister, mm -hmm. vice president, director mm -hmm. general, mm -hmm. they can stop you at any moment. Yes. But if you become elected mm -hmm. chairman, become area council, it's like, no, um, a term. No, a term. No, yes. they can, can, can sack you from, yes. that, from that position. Yes. So is mm -hmm. it, you, are you rejecting this just out of principles that mm -hmm. Ahmed Jitin mm -hmm. is not taking this up because mm -hmm. of principles mm -hmm. or just because you just afraid that um, it's, um, this is appointed position and this one is elected? It, it's more, it, okay, so there is nothing wrong in serving a country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Principally, mm -hmm. <clears throat> let's say we all came from 2021 campaign and we took power. And of course, who would not be happy? Who would not be proud to serve your country? Nobody. I was going to serve my country mm -hmm. in any capacity. But they have already built a track record of distrust and betrayals. And I've seen this. There is every record of it. Now, I'm not leaving the party because we built that party. But I can participate and basically, even before this whole issue came, my discussion, this was in May when we, you know, I came here for mm -hmm. voter registration, May 2021. Yeah. I spent two months here mm -hmm. crisscrossing the whole of West Coast to make sure people get their registration, voter registration cards. Mm -hmm. I have discussed this intention with the Brahma Silla and some other ministers that, you know, young ones like us, you should not get everybody to cabinet like those that you trust for the party and you believe have abilities. Sometimes people have to learn to be leaders. Start, you know, building them from grassroots. Mm -hmm. At the time, the president was making statements all over that this is going to be a youthful government. Yeah. And I'm sure there is record everywhere. Mm -hmm. And the Brahma and others believe if there will be any youth in Barros government, if I'm not number one, I'll be number but two. I mean, because I, every, every, every young person. Every, 
Well, I'm, I'm in line with the national youth policy. You are not young. Well, well, uh, young you are more than thirty-five. Is, well, I'm not thirty-five, but I'm a youth. I mean, <laughs> look, I'm you know, I mean, no, but our youth policy is saying no. it's thirty-five. Uh, well, those are. I mean, yeah, but I'm now, social cultural context, you can be a youth. Uh, yes, 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 yes. But legally, I'm, legally, I'm, I'm, I'm not forty yet. Yeah, but you are more than thirty-five. I'm more than, of course. I don't want to be less than thirty-five <laughs> now. <laughs> I have three kids, mm. so you understand. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, um, um, the fact of the matter is, going back to your question, there's a principle here. I have to preserve that principle, and that principle is, do what is right, no matter what. If I pick a job from what has happened, if I pick a single job from these people, number one, after this election, they are going to, in fact, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised to have them jail me or even implicate me just to destroy me. Now I, I have gone to that level of, 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 of belief ko. These people, it's a korla fang. Ye palaso dinna. Ye na yen tu mi sunya rola. Wale yen tu mi fenna mi alonko kuja olem. Purukana dunia atinya. It's a korla ola. But I mean, when I na ko futa wo tembo to I don't I don't know. So this man has postulated so many political theories, mm -hmm. and these are possibilities. You know, like he said, unka mo jalo min kafun ye jire saame be kela president. I don't. Okay. So me, you see, I believe in God. What is coming, I have no idea. Do you have any interest in yeah, becoming yeah, the president family. of this country? I have an interest in becoming chairman of Brikama Area Council. How about president? And right now, what that's what I can tell you. I have an interest in becoming chairman of Brikama Area Council and solve at least majority of major problems that our people are facing. If you win, come May 29, if mm -hmm. you win, mm -hmm. uh, are you going to go, are you taking your seat to MP? What, what does that mean? If you win as an independent, yes. are you going to do Siri for Sonko? Take a Kongana Nana Siron or some Malangadi and so, so I, I don't know, I don't know what I Ninde, okay, okay. After, so, yes. so, first and foremost, mm -hmm. I think it's clear to everybody I'm NPP. Okay. I don't believe in what they do, and, and I don't believe it that I and, and my principles like wouldn't let me accept that. Mm -hmm. But it was very clear to everybody. What is important here is, mm -hmm. is Jita capable of handling that position? Yes. Mm -hmm. What values, you know, does NPP have? And what, what, what policies, what programs do they want no, Jita, for people? Jita, no, 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 wait, I'm coming. It's important. This, no, the reason why. Uh, this this question. Question. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pour y ni mona da palazzo do ye molla marseol dada ye molla kat dinne molla kara mol jo ye ye molla dulal be nori ye nya mol ko ye nya ma koran joran ol ta ye provide mol ye ye recreational center so provide ye funding ke ol ma ko environmental issues feeder roads ye bill nyin nyin lal mu fengot nyin nyin npp believe why would i go and take this seat i'm a pop i become a public servant but i am npp that you have to understand. The reason, I have never left NPP. The reason why I'm asking this question is this. Mm -hmm. You went through the primaries with NPP. Yes. And they rejected you and selected somebody over you. Even when you claim that you won. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us believe you won. Mm -hmm. That's the fact. Mm -hmm. Now, if NPP put up CD as a candidate, mm -hmm. and you, mm -hmm. who was rejected by NPP, mm -hmm. people vote you in. Mm -hmm. Majority of the people will vote you in because they are rejecting CD and the NPP programs. Mm -hmm. that NPP is putting forward mm -hmm. and also some will vote for you because of the injustice mm -hmm. that NPP has made on you. Mm -hmm. Now if you are voted in mm -hmm. and you decide to go back and said NPP Siram of Fele, mm -hmm. that is a betrayal of those people. Now let me, some of them. okay I think, I think the mindset of Gambians here is a political scientist. What Gambians need right now is not much of which party color you carry? Well, that is mbatu, mbatu, no, 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 no. No. What Gambians are interested in right now is who is going to help fix our water problems yeah. for the gardens? But if we who reject somebody, somebody, if we mbatu. reject somebody because yeah, I, that party will, cannot do it, you cannot go and I will say, come to that. I will come ahead. to that. Ni mm. um, take office. Yalo NPP ya kule ke nambalantala. Molia, we meet and the mobile, we meet and the mobile, we meet and the NPP. But it tilimbali ya. 
o sifa o sifa dati jata sonal ya yo understand manke bala nati e ka fo mo bala nal din de 98% of the things me no kananga i'm a very reasonable person people don't just have the courage to come and face me some of them they are intellectually very unfortunately so they don't have the courage to come and speak to me with clear consent mm -hmm. with with you know you know i mean uh, 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 i mean mol bu kam faham hay bu i bam faham le bu ka min mira am bu ka balam so ndeka min fo molo min diko ni ndeka nyim palaso do be molo do ko kala ya je nim baro silol be do ko ay corruption o kala fengol ke people don't care whether is baro fenke molo manol da sonada do molo da sonada that is what gambians want Ibuka parti of fire kafu nyimu NPP let Gambia no mine carte of fire wolka fire min kama nyin ni ma carte of fire ay abe na silol dadalalde no ye ngbatu fatu do not do not argue with me so ndeka min folam nyi diko i am going in to seek for this office with my programs adu lafta ngo programs will implement mol min ye bekelo la ten coming ya fo nyame there are lot of them mini along ko they are not NPP but they are jealous there is an injustice but more important than that they don't just want to put anybody into a, 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 an elected office because there is an injustice if i were someone else i mean probably oh there is an injustice but equally you are not qualified to run and do what we expect of you but what people would tell you is not only was there an injustice but jita is more qualified than the now, person that th they put forward that to my next question before i go to your program mm -hmm. why do you think you are more qualified than cd why do you think apart from being a founding member of or a member mm -hmm. and which you claim he is not mm -hmm. What can you do better? Why were you? Why do you think you are more qualified? Than well, CD? well, well, well. I'm sure people knew that when NPP presented um, their candidate, CD's name was there. I said this. I have declared my intention since July of mm -hmm. 2022, mm -hmm. and since then, I've presented my policies and programs that I was going to do, and I was willing to face the public for scrutiny. I've made myself available that if you have any issue with any of my policies, come forward. If you have anything wrong against me, come forward. I'm willing and I'm available with, for any media house. Mm -hmm. CD, it was until his name was mentioned on the paper that people knew. And even after that, tell me a single plan that CD put forward to the people. Anything that is going to tell people is going to be some educated people in the party who put that together for him not him i put my 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 policies and programs i sat down and develop it and i seek of course for the guidance and for the input of experts in every area but i put that you know i sat down and and Are put you the saying CD is not able to do that i mean I, I i mean i mean if he's able to we have not seen evidence and we go by evidence if he's able to i have not seen it so this is why i say and secondly this is a traditional and cultural society if you want to be a leader for people if you want to hold people's public office, you have to present yourself to people. They need to know who you are. They need to know where you come from. They need to know, in fact, before you become, before you even, what's your contribution? Of course, I'm aware that he was with Freedom Radio during our struggle. I was with Fatu Radio. You know about that. Yeah. You know, he was with Freedom Radio discussing political culture, and now he's with uh, uh, QTV. Yeah. But, you know... Other than that, what? Are you, are, you, are you concerned that he was a TV host and then now... I'm never concerned. No. The fact of the matter is I have nothing against CD. No, the no, problem no. is... No, but ethics-wise, I'm saying, because um, he's, a, he's a media person, right? He's on television. Because this is a person who has a platform, who invites political leaders. Even during the campaign, he was on, 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 on election night. He was inviting people, political leaders, before election, and he was scrutinizing them. He was talking to them. And when I heard CD um, on one of the interviews, and he said, you know, Modolbe, Nimol Kondemantara, NPP, Nintefanamed Lalto, Medlado, Mudakang. <clears throat> it, is it because he was using his platform to ridicule or go against other political leaders just to get the favor of the president? Because that's what it means to me. Because I don't understand how he was he playing his games, if not just using his platform. Abe, Abe Mundole Mutaka. 
Ah. And who is the who is the, who, let's produce uh, a witness. Ten people. Minu ba foleko. I'm not talking about the elites up there. Oh, okay. Because they, I, I, unfortunately, the Honorable Deputy Speaker came here and I've heard the yeah. outrageous comments he has made. Uh, but when you ask the ordinary people, the, you know, call two, three people from a party that had about 400,000 votes in the presidential election about CD's contribution. In fact, what we knew about CD was going to uh, Manka Mankunda and ridiculing the president. And in fact, accusing him of corruption. He, this was his house, just 2017. Now he has built a multi-million dollar house. He's a corrupt individual. This was all we, we saw about CD. Apart from that, I have not had anything. Uh, so, you know, well, this is, this is okay. It's okay for him to do that, you know, uh, based on his line of, I mean, uh, 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 work. But... For party militancy, for party membership, that does not look like somebody who is uh, I, 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 a member of the party. I, I, I want to ask this question. Um, you made mention that, you know, you have seen signs of betrayal. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I want to know when, when did this start? Is it <clears> just, I mean, did it start with you? Or is it something that you have observed as a trend in the past in the NPP as a party? And if so, are you comfortable Post primaries, is Ahmadita comfortable in NPP? Although you are still a member, you are not in expel, you are retained. But are you comfortable in this party? And what is the future of Ahmadita in NPP? Whether you win the elections or you lose the elections, because you are saying that it's either you or Yankuba. Mm -hmm. um, but whatever the case is, what mm -hmm. is the future of Ahmad in a party that you think has trends of, of, of um, betrayal? And you're not happy with the conduct of the officials? Well, only in the context of um, the primaries that we are held, because you did not um, broaden this to say entirely NPP. Mm -mm. But you're not happy with how there was injustice in yeah. the context of that primary. Yes. But what is the future of Ahmad in this party that he believes there are people who really were not just when he wanted to seek for the chairmanship of the Kama Area Council? A very bright future, because what I know is that. Uh, like I said, over 98% of NPP membership, even some that would perhaps say, okay, we're going to vote for CD because if finally it's the party's, you know, candidate, mm -hmm. they believe what happened was wrong. So for me... How do you know the over 98%? How do you know that? Well, I, I mean, okay, let me say about 98%. No, just, maybe you just I mean, say, no, just say good, good number. Uh, okay, but good you, number. You Polity, 98%, but, you so, so, but a, 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 an overwhelming majority of the party membership, the ordinary, who are not receiving any salary, who perhaps have never met the party leader, or some of these ministers uh, that, 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 you know, I mean, uh, implemented this very unfortunate uh, 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 thing during our primary. So, I mean, for me, I think what's going to happen is the party is going to learn again a very bitter lesson that uh, injustice, you know, anywhere is threat to justice everywhere principle and they will know that you know we've done it once it backfired and it's it's second time it's backfiring so we better change our our, our behaviors I, I believe that because this is a, a minority and what's going to happen is if the party loses this the entire blame is going to be on those who who, well, you, who you did said this. they will lose and and yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they don't will. say if they will lose. Just say the entire blame will go on the party because they will lose. It's not so. When I say the party, so it's it's not entirely the party because you know it's a few people who did this because they believe they have powers, and those that put them in that place, the the, the electorates, the people that give these executive positions to them, are not in agreement with them. So I think what's going to happen is the next perhaps the next Congress that would come, some of these people. Who did this would pay the price for betraying the party and for betraying a fellow, you know, a, a founding member of the party Gide. because of reasons that, Gide. you know, is, 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 is unknown Gide. to your party, to, the to, NPP, to, 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 your to party. anybody. Yes. After the presidential election, mm -hmm. you won with a landslide. Yes. And then we, National Assembly, mm -hmm. it was even difficult to have a clear lead because... 
normally the incumbent few months after election, you would expect that the NPP would have come with at least more than 20 to 25 seats in the National Assembly. The entire combo, Banjulus, KMC, zero. West Coast, one. Now, this is a very critical election for the party. Yeah. With the way things are going, especially in West Coast, mm -hmm. do you think this rift in the party mm -hmm. will cost the party just like what happened? Of course it will cost. There is no way it's not going to cost the party. Already are we going to a, see a replica of what happened uh, in National Assembly? Most, most likely... You know, in, the, in, in terms of whether NPP is going to lose, yes. We're going to see a replica of what happened during the parliamentary elections. In KM Banjul and West Coast? I, I'm not, I'm not, I, so I'm not following events in, West, in, in KMC in Banjul. But what I know is that it's tough to unseat an incumbent. Mm -hmm. I mean, Rohi is solid. Back, uh, you know, Talib is solid. No matter what you say about them. So we're going against an incumbent here. It's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. Whether they'll win or not, I'm not, I'm not following events there. Mm -hmm. My concentration, of course, you know, I'm a candidate. Yeah. And I'm very busy with my plans, preparing for, no for very, very, very difficult sisters <laughs> like you. <Yeah. laughs> you know, <laughs> but West Coast is, is, is clear. And I can say this and let them write it. NPP is not winning this. As a party, no. You know With me on, no, NPP is not going to win this election. No. I'm in your plans. And you know, I, I said this, I'm sure you knew during parliamentary election. Yes. I made it very clear that what you're doing, you're going to mess up big yeah. time. I didn't know we were going to do that bad in Banjul and KMC. Yeah. But I made it very clear to waste questions that what you're doing, you are making electorate angry. And you know how Gambia works? You hurt somebody in Kitty, you think you've just hurt a Kitty Ant. <laughs> These things, they, they, it, there is a, a, a rippling effect. Mm -hmm. it, it goes somewhere. So and you know, some, no I know effects. people, a group, an association in KMC, a youth group that says, because of what the party did to me, they are not voting for Bakari. Billah wa A membership, a group that has over 300 members, youth groups, they voted for President Barrow because during the presidential election, you know how much I have worked. They are in KMC. They say they are going to vote for Talib because of what the party did to me. So you would have these effects spilling over from 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 uh, 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 West Coast. So I'm not saying but Bakar is going to lose, or you know anybody in Banjul is going to. But what I'm saying is the party needs to be careful. What they did angers every genuine Gambian. But did they, they will say you did it first in in a national assembly election? You endorsed an independent against your party. Yes. <clears throat> and the party was hurt by that. Uh, well, I and don't know if the party... You, they said you co it cost them the election. Well, in, 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 in so, that area. so what the party... And you vowed to say... Uh, Birkama said, my constituency. They, they said you vowed that you are going to make... Yes. You said that. Yeah. If, the, the, you said, if the party is hurt, why did not That is what I say. If you are hurt, you, know, you feel I'm not... Expel me from the party. It's that simple. Why didn't you expel me? <laughs> You yes, don't want to leave this party. Uh, no, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. No, <laughs> I have principles. No, no, no. But no. It, it seems like the for for the I didn't say that. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, if you don't believe that I am going with your principles, <laughs> that, that's what I'm expel saying. Tell me. No, I'm, that's what I'm saying. You know, kido ta yam fa inga ta nyamu kono jala. If that is what anyway, you want, anyway, what I'm trying to say. Follow the No, no, no. No, no, no. Sister, it's the same. You see, problem all keda. Problem all keda. Not only here. In fact, they are under independent or at least woman win. But you know what happened? We had executive members of NPP who supported independent candidates in other parts of the country. So it's just hypocrisy. Even that they, they not no, win. some of them, no, did, some not of them did not win. Even, even we even. knew executive members in NPP, authorities in NPP who supported independent candidates. Mine, my objective was for my independent candidate to win. He did not win, but that was my objective. There were currently there are ministers in cabinet who were party members, who sponsored independent candidates. So <coughs> why, would, why would I be seen? Why would it only be about Jite? There is hypocrisy. Um, yeah, Jite. Outright hypocrisy. And I'm uh, sure that's not new to, 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 to anybody. I, 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 I will agree with you, you when you say... Non when you say... Be cool, the man that still hold on. Nga foye. Nali ake. But say, ning adama di ngol fang. Ning jong oka son tonya la. Ite afo, nte afo. Ntola interest mu minti. Mbe masot. Nda nga minfo otonya yata. Ite hakilo tulando. <laughs> ni, 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 ha, if you have, if you have any objective. Ha. 
ngali ya marinkala alabula ndefa nga dame mfalie you suffer ten times that problem ngale ka alabula nali yake alte ganyal alman dante adama out of 12 seats we lost, we got only one we lost 11 that is almost 90 something percent yeah. amanda wala kmc nga belus banjul nga belus everything wo nena man ke part ruling party la in gambia's history ni mol malti ni allah ta party wala samala i don't i don't the know national assembly election i i don't want to know that is a history but in coming for them na allah na allah ta party wala nyato tala allah ta tol fo ngam min fo en na program dula nde na tol bele nyin kelo ka tol dol bi jale atar len to ngam na party wala ma tole la folo al nat bi al filal ke ministral nde man complain al man par al na mo len nata facebook ngo mo man palazi nan kon dat party wala no I supported my party in Benna Hajol. I told the palace. Now let your party out in. I told the fola do kola. Now your party out in. I told the cartel fola. The baro lose. The baro le fola do kola. All the family le fola status la. Ibrahim Silla le fola minister. The masaba le fola minister. And in salary, in all the opportunities, Jita has benefited nothing from the party. Now man ke ngana Hajol minki. And I'm not complaining. So ninte na danga kuo fale amanke ko mu rontale rightale nganyeta mm-hmm. ngakumol fale mi mu parti o mbela na fat mo in fact yo benefit han salbe balanka il have to itinya parti o be abetinya ye foela do ko la parti do man sa kundata who is who is border I, i fly back to my country <laughs> second country and go and do my i will, my, I will my agree job. with you when you said the i mean election like a snowball effect certainly and yeah. of course Parliamentary presidential election is always different from parliamentary and local government elections in the Gambia. But mm-hmm. parliamentary elections do have snowball effect, <coughs> impact certainly on local government. Mm-hmm. And local government mostly council election like mm-hmm. then chairman and mayoral. Yes. And I want mm-hmm. to believe that the parliamentary elections meant a meter mm-hmm. the effect certainly on the local government, but starting with the council election. Mm-hmm. And indeed, I've, I've reached a point that I don't um, predict the outcome elections. of Gambian elections Anymore. because I feel like um, the dynamics keep on fluctuating just like prices of commodities keep on fluctuating in the market. Be it I go Jabomu thousand dollars eleven. Same I go eight hundred, sinin thousand one hundred. The same thing with you know Sukuro, Tulo, Pompiter and all that. But I want to believe that I mean maybe I will make my proper assessment after the council election. Because chairmanship and mayoral election, this is the big one that everybody is waiting for. Mm-hmm. And likely because council election is more grassroots. Yes. It's like closer to the people. Mm-hmm. So if any camp or party is able to pull out something mm-hmm. big from that local government council election, you'll be able to do a good job um, in the um, um, chairmanship and mayoral. But I don't want to go into that. But the MM for Olemko is on record that NPP is losing it. Because I, I mean, parliamentary election will have an effect on council election, and council election will also have an effect on, of course, the chairmanship election. But moving forward with your plans, like I said, I'm more interested in what difference is GTA? Are we having GTA with a difference? Or are we having a chairman with a difference? Is GTA coming with something different from the rest of mankind? Mel Bekana, like you said, CD Man, anything um, produced follow with regards to his plans. What we have in this country in the past has been Mul Kanadon, just normal Kumabarek. Like ST will say, Kuma political for Kumaba. Mm-hmm. But what tangible plans do you have, especially when it comes to issues of improving lives and livelihoods, especially for young people in West Coast region? Employment opportunities, I know central government has a role in that, but especially for young people. And from there, I, will, I have a very you know, critical question with regards to the issue of decentralization, because I know it's a big problem in the Gambia. And what will be your position in ensuring that? Because we have seen. Um, Taliban orders went to court to challenge certain things, which really, when they were ruled in their favor, um, really, Mosafo no Kong is very helpful when it comes to our decentralization. And it's Jita willing, but that will get to that. That's another one. But what do you have specifically for young people of West Coast region, especially when it comes to issues of unemployment? So we have a nine point agenda. I've developed, in fact, I want to reduce it to five. <coughs> Because ah, um, are you are you copying I, UDP or what? no? I have nine. <laughs> UDP has UDP five. has five. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, CA has uh, ten. Uh, yeah. So um, <laughs> uh, key, you know, is uh, youth empowerment, mm-hmm. and I've made it clear with the kind of resources, mm-hmm. and when you look at waste costs in general, mm-hmm. even with rates alone, mm-hmm. compound rates, mm-hmm. you can collect when you when you put in place 
efficient ways of collecting revenue. Efficient. You can you can you can generate almost half a billion dollars from our assessment. Mm. You know, we after <coughs> working on our revenue collection, I have in our plan allocating thirty million dollars annually just to empower youth. You know, we, we've said this, um, you can come up, whether you are a group or you are an individual, come up with solid business plans, mm -hmm. come up with, you know, companies in agriculture, in anything, in technology, in health, whatever you call it. We are going to empower 10 different groups or individuals every year to venture into business. And we are going to do that through assistance from experts. There are a lot of Gambian experts that are approaching me, that are reaching out, and are willing to help young people. And we believe even with that, if you have 30 million dollars, that is going to help each a million dollars. That is like 30 different entities entering into the market. Even if we are 40% successful, that is a great achievement. Every year we have four companies, four entities existing. Perhaps if each of those are assisted for four years, even if they are employ five, six people, that will be a lot if that is uh, 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 maintained. So this is something we have in, in place. And um, we equally, of course, want to partner with private sector because government cannot create all this employment. Yeah. But we want to, I mean, you know, uh, uh, partner with serious private sector, you know, in, in our society to see whether we'll venture into agriculture like poultry farming. Uh, we have that plan in, 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 let's say, Fonyi, where we want perhaps a million birds or more. And, you know, get the youths engaged and help them with even, uh, 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 I mean, Personal, like uh, there are a lot of youths that are into uh, uh, horticultural gardening. There are a lot of youths that are into animal husbandry, like ruminants, sheep, and all of that. So we, we have these plans, you know, partnering with experts, partnering with private sector to help push the youths forward. That is very key for us and women. Gardening, and also you have um, this education is because you have a lot of young people that are very much interested in education. But where I come from, skill education, technical education, is giving a lot of prominence. It's giving a lot of importance. We know that at local government level, we can only do so much because you cannot participate or take care of tertiary institutions or tertiary uh, uh, service delivery uh, uh, facilities like hospitals, mm -hmm. like universities, like colleges, but high schools, you know, for example, for the, in the case of education, from uh, 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 um, nursery to high school, you can. I am in talks with uh, an institution that is purely technical. And Fatu, when you go to Canada, plumbing, you get a plumber one hour, they mm -hmm. pay you $350, one hour. And people will need plumbing job in their houses. It will take you three months to get a plumber to come and fix your problems in your house. People that are going out to Europe, these are problems that persist there, these, these technical uh, 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 vocational expertise. So we want to partner with people where you're going to have a high school that is purely about these jobs. I know there's Technical Training Institute, GTTI, but we want at our local level because local governments are the engines of development. Mm -hmm. And we want to empower our youth and yeah. also through sports. Burufu, there's a big land and they want to, you know, uh, 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 develop it into a modern multipurpose center. You know how sports is now. Mm -hmm. your, your big bro your brother, Sergio Mane, mm -hmm. how much is he making? How much is he doing yeah. in his community? We want to empower young people through sports as well because sports is business now. We want to create recreational facilities. So basically for youths, this is one thing we have. Of course, we are going to create a lot of opportunities in terms of scholarships for young people into university and into colleges because that's something that is very, I was, I very important right now. I was going to right come now. to that, but it's, it's good that yes, you have. Yes, we have. I, I, in my junior school, Brikama Area Council sponsored me. I got scholarship from Brikama Area Council. Uh, Edna Musu's father, uh, Edna Musu Giatrias, yeah. the, the dad, uh, Dr. Jassi, mm -hmm. was the chairman 
We had a speech and prayer event ceremony, and I took force from primary school into junior school, and I was offered scholarship by Brikama Area Council. Now you people don't know that those scholarships are even available. So we want to allocate a lot of money to educate our young people, because education is key. Okay. And we are going to help schools that are in West Coast here. If we are not able to control them, we are going to build our own school. Uh, nursery to, to high school to make sure we provide facilities that will provide a conducive, effective, high quality education for our people. How can you do all of this? Number one, um, the resources, where are you going to get these resources? Now, you know decentralization is not fully, um, it's not happening in the Gambia, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, central, uh, local governments are supposed to pump 60% of they are develop, uh, develop their budget to development to to the local communities, yes, right? Yes. But central government <coughs> is supposed to provide twenty five percent of that, yes. and that's not forthcoming. Yes. Now, if you don't have those funding, mm -hmm. now the women <coughs> of Rikama and mm -hmm. Lamen and all the <coughs> regions mm -hmm. are looking to have markets. When mm -hmm. it comes to raining during the rainy season, mm -hmm. you feel sorry for these women. Yes. They cannot even sell their produce. Mm -hmm. They have no space to. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, two days ago. Uh, the president inaugurated a new market, which is going to be about when completed 100,200, but that is not enough, yeah. even for Brikama. Yes. We're talking about Lamen, uh, Sukuta, Jambanjeli, Jabang, all these settlements who were, you know, when they say West Coast, people think it's just Brikama. It's all of these communities. The women are suffering. All of these different sectors are suffering. How are you going to get that resources to help your people? So It's about resources. So, yes, yeah, sister, there are short, medium, and long-term policy and programs okay. for any serious government. Mm -hmm. And for us, our number one priority when we get into office, the first 100 days are two. One, we want to get as many garbage trucks as we can. Are you going to charge or are you going to be free? Uh, for me, I, I will. In, no, we I will, will never, we, we're I going will, to charge. At least I'm going, going to, to charge. Your president we're said no MPP, MP, no MPP. Uh, well, NPP, well, NPP is charging Samba Juma Bridge. You cross, you charge it. It is taxpayers' money. So oh. I, I wouldn't agree with the president on oh, that, no, even no. if I'm, on, I'm, I'm an NPP man. You will because Samba Juma Bridge is, is, is taxpayers' and the are charged, money. Yeah. They, so they, they, they pro, you just cross the bridge, but you pay the money. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to charge like Talib is doing. Okay. We're just going to make people understand that right now, before you fix it, when your hand is broken, and you go to a person who fixed the hands. Before it is fixed, it pains. Yeah. It has to go through some, pain some rough times, yeah. to, for it to be fixed. Mm -hmm. So there is a problem, and we need to fix that problem. How do we fix it? We have to go through some pain. That I'm not going to hide from people. Garbage trucks, you are paying perhaps a thousand or two thousand or perhaps thousand five hundred here every, every month trip, every trip we pay three hundred fantastic and so we are in West Coast. i would i would just ask you to pay you know a whole month perhaps just one thousand or perhaps three hundred or four hundred how many compounds do we have even from Burfurhan and all i i am saying even from garbage collection alone will make a substantial amount of money to start empowering people that are in charge of small-scale businesses. Now, you have women in the market. Markets are congested. People don't have. There is a big market here, Ajame, built in Sukuta. Mm -hmm. It's lying fallow, lying yeah. useless. Yeah. I know you know that. Yeah. Multi-million dollar market it's built okay. by taxpayers' money from uh, 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 table going money. to Sukuta wow. on, your, on your right. On your right. Yeah. Yes, a big, big market. We don't know what is happening. Women are crying. We don't have market. We don't have places. If there is a problem, I said, part of my plan is that if I come into office, I'm going to engage whoever owns that place. I'm sure there is a problem, a dispute about the land. Yeah. If they want us to, to go into an agreement to lease, I am willing yeah. to because there is no loss for government. This is an individual citizen who, if you empower, will keep his money in the country yeah. and pay his taxes. There is going to be economic activity there. And that is going to help. So I want to get this, you know, um, this uh, garbage collection and these rates. We want to make it, you know, a uh, um, uh, digital base rate collection because that reduces corruption. Mm -hmm. When you, you know, reduce contact between employees and cash, 
you reduce the level of corruption you have. Because we have instances where revenue collectors, rate collectors go get $10,000 here, they come, you saw the audit report, they only produce 3000 so the 7000 is gone. This is on daily basis. So you lose almost 60-70% of revenue you collected. So we are saying, when we get into that, there is one thing he talked about when it comes to decentralization. Yeah. I said, I am going to engage all the National Assembly members of West Coast. Mm. And in fact, I will appeal to the council to bring forward or put forward a policy, a bylaw, that is going to make all the National Assembly members automatic members of the council. We, they have their job, but whatever we are doing has everything to do with their constituencies. And the local government act 2002 is not fit for purpose. That, that's my that's my point. Ha, what will you do? Yeah. In, yes. In making so sure I, that I mean, so I want to talk to it the was. national assembly members who, of course, want. I, I believe they have goodwill. They want development for, for their, their people. Regions, yeah. And local governments can do a lot. Yeah. apart from central government. Mm -hmm. So we will invite them, we will sit with them and tell them what we need and what benefit we, we are going to have from, you know, amending or reforming that act to give a lot more power to uh, local governments to be able to, you know, carry out those economic activities and development programs that the people need in their various uh, constituents. So we want to do that. And we also want to include in our committees village development committees. Because at village level, grassroots, these are the people that understand the problems in the village. Whether it's about women garden, whether it's about market, whether it's about... So we want them to be part of our committees. Mm -hmm. And all of them together we sensitize. And like I tell people... Politicians are very scared of the public because they know the public put them in the office. Yeah. If central government refuses and they are not willing to give us decentralization, I don't care whether I'm in the same party with you or not. I'll tell the people because people know I can talk and we can talk. We will invest money, go to every single bantaba to tell people why local governments are not able to do anything in this country. Because the act is there to squeeze their hands and tie it behind them. I once had a conversation with Talib and I felt very bad. He told me about some of the plans that he has, about even a garage. He wanted a garage and that is not about politics for me. That's about the well-being of my people. Yeah. Talib wants to build a modern garage where people can go and park their vehicles instead of parking them on the highway and he'll be charging them money, mm -hmm. the money that he's going to use to develop people. And he was refused a plot of land. And now we've seen land given to American embassy. Now I felt that is injustice. And I felt no matter whether I'm in the same party with Taliban or not, that is not in the interest of the country. These are the kind of things I would say, and they say, you are uncontrollable. Yeah. And I felt bad. So the, the constitution, the act should be reformed in a way that is going to. So I'm going to, that, that is a primary objective that I have when I come into office. That and this... Um, this uh, garbage issue because I'm going to get money from it. Yeah. But again, you have a lot of your property stolen. Yeah. I have had discussions with Ministry of Interior mm -hmm. and I want to have a very solid local police. We've seen it in Europe and all these places. Community policing. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh, we want to train um, a lot more people to be part of the police. And what I told you know, the, the police high command is that we want to partner with you, train our people like police officers, six months, give them, in fact, military training. And we want to partner with them, provide logistics, let them help us guard places. Let's say if I have a security that will go, you know, to this street to make sure Fatu's property is okay, Fatu will not have a problem paying $100 a month. Course, yep. You will. When service is good, service delivery is provided, people are willing to pay for them. Yeah. So we are going to do that and we'll partner with the police, PIU, to provide us with some armed men and they will patrol places to make sure at our high ends where you have a lot of breakings, people have a lot of valuables, people from Europe or businessmen, you know, they have multi-million dollars in properties here. These thieves and, you know, burglars go into, we will provide securities and they will pay. We're going to provide employment. 
we are going to create revenue. So these are things I have also discussed with the police high command and with the officials of Ministry of Interior. It's a policy. And I believe these are things that will, be, that, that will help us. And people, businesses that are in my, my, my region, I am going to engage now to tell them, hey, you know, these are economic you know, sources mm -hmm. for us. Yeah. So we will find a way out to make sure we have a lot more electricity you know, supply, perhaps not entirely uninterrupted, but at the moment at a level that is good for them. Because what I've realized too is that you, for example, in your house, the TV you have, you bought it more than $2,000, $3,000. If you always have on and off like traffic lights for electricity, yeah. it destroys all these uh, 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 appliances, appliances yeah. or amenities that are inside your, your house. And people are willing to pay extra to make sure they have uninterrupted electricity. So we have all this in place and we are willing to engage the relevant authorities. But that is only possible if we have excellent, robust bylaws put in place. Bylaws that are in line with the Act. But the Act as it stands is not fit for the purpose. So our objective force is to make sure we push this act yeah. for it to be reformed. And that I'm not compromising. If you want to impeach me, if you want to take me to jail, if you want to assassinate me, people have suffered enough and we believe there is need for decentralization. And if my party feels that is not what they want, and in our policies, these are the things they want. And I think it's going to be fine. So far, and uh, Mr. Yeah. Is it Njai? Njai. Saman Njai. You know, my mom is Njai. So mm -hmm. these, are, these are some of the things we have in place. And of course, there are other things if you are ever interested in me talking about those kind of policies. Very interesting. And I'm sure yeah. I see a lot of people saying how interesting these programs yeah. are. I, I, I think, I, think um, I don't know, maybe we'll need Ahmed. We will, we will uh, need Ahmed, Ahmed back. Um, to expand on the, a lot of other areas because we couldn't touch um, a lot of other areas. That and and, and perhaps another more important, apart from youths, you mm -hmm. see <clears throat> um, women yeah. in various um, economic sectors like gardening. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of these women, because during presidential election, there was in the village or a, a town that I've not visited in this region. Yeah. I was everywhere. They have three major problems all the time. Mm -hmm. Our gardens are not fenced. We don't have water. Mm -hmm. We don't have good roads. Mm -hmm. Or we have problems with markets. These are things they say. And we want to also partner with either Minister of Agriculture, if they agree. And now, lately, international partners have realized that not everything that goes through central government works. And European work. Union now have started going through directly to local governments. Yeah. And, you know... Coming from Canada, of course, I have had discussions with local governments at, at our level. I met mayors. I met uh, different mayors of different cities. And one of the things we want is to, you know, seek for assistance to help our women have their gardens fenced. Water, we're going to start fighting with now because, uh, uh, now because what happens is West Coast is where Banjul gets its water. Mm -hmm. KMC is where, you know, uh, West Coast is where KMC gets its water. Our people are crying for water. I, I'm going to tell that to Nawek. I mean, we need water. You cannot supply water to KMC and Banjul from West Coast, and we are suffering. So we want to have these boreholes for women in their gardens and f have their you know, uh, uh, um, um, gardens fence for them to protect them, but also to decongest become a market. Yeah. Lamen is a huge settlement now. Mm -hmm. They need a standard market. Yeah. Sukuta has one. We just have to help it. Gunjur should not come to Birikama to look for anything now because it's a, it's a place, it's a huge settlement, it has a lot of satellite villages, that it needs a very strong market. So we need all of these things to make sure our economic I'm, activities are, 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 are okay. And if they are, we'll get revenue. If you empower these people and you help them, you know, go smoothly with their businesses, they pay taxes. And these taxes are what government survives on to be able to move a country Did they, one one major area where uh, local governments should be able to get revenue from is like the tourism areas mm -hmm. um when we had kmc mayor he spoke about how 
NRA, for example, is collecting road taxes. GRA is collecting the garage taxes and other taxes. Mm -hmm. When it comes to hotels and bet betting agencies, tourism development, uh, GTA is collecting. Now, when councils go to these people, they, they said, no, we are paying to central government already. You spoke about how it's important to have good bylaws and it will change our laws. With the absence of all of that, do you think we can have effective um, councils working for the people? No. In the absence of good laws? No. Because, you see... Uh, there this, needs to be devolution of yeah. power. Yeah. I mean, you know, with, with the current situation, it's not possible. And central government needs to understand that, of course, local governments are not getting money from God, perhaps Allah's bank. Mm. That's not where they're getting it from. They are getting it from the same people that they are. They are getting it at a larger scale. So there has to be a conversation. Whatever tax collection they have made, they, it is laws that they have amended, it is acts that they have amended, and come after people. Those same acts can be re-amended to make it in a way that so so kana nyofa, nyo kana so so far. We are not, it's going to be bad that, you know, Fatu is paying how much money to Ministry of Information as tax, and but Ministry of Information now can, can reduce how much they are charging you, that is going to uh, 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 GRA, and part of it they say, okay, Fatu is paying taxes of $3,000 a year. Okay, we are going to charge you one, 2000 now. 1000 that we are going to charge. To local council, person. you take care of that. And yes, in fact, the last time I was speaking with some members in the provinces, like uh, LRR, mm -hmm. they told me, Hani Ninsolu, Yalo Ninsolu, you can tax your Ninsolu. Manzakunda of an Abu So, you know, you know, but uh, uh, after all of that, the problem you said here is that. Ni manzakunda ni revenue be koleki kafu leko we are collecting it and we will give what belongs to local government local and they don't even give it they back. Don't. Yeah, so they that that that, that, that you and in in area I think at one point they were giving each of them equal four million. Yeah. If you give uh, Banyul for me and give West Coast formula, what would you the road? Yeah. Because the companies in West Coast and Cayman cannot be compared to Banyul or LRR. Mm -hmm. So it becomes... And yeah, it's bigger. It's yeah. bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, but, but again, I mean, uh, uh, that comes to what ESA was mm -hmm. saying. If political, if, if NPP wants to, for example, yeah. I mean, get me, go by that, that is that uncontrollable nature is justified because I'm not going to accept that from NPP government. Because when you do that, you are just making me a laughing stock to the electorate. Mm -hmm. You are not even a more continental can nenga for more a for you mean baker that thing. It's not like Siri for a pro Talib is very stubborn. And that part I like about him. He went all out, he 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 thought out of the box, he refused to be. You know, it's very tough for him. He's not with government and all of that. But he, at least he has tried. People would say all sort of things, but I believe he has done something. Yeah. It, that mean, is my belief. I, I, so, Nico even control la ola yena tax be koleki man fendi ne konga munya oka moli engele ntakela. Ite ninde be mu Gambia nolti, mbe lafta todi ala, mbe at the end of the day, nimbe fata manzata labe mbe nyi ninkala mfayele, nga mune ke banku de ola. Kawe itelom eh, minister di, itelom president di, itelom director di, no. Inyanta mendi la na adina. Nita Adila, now you are not genuine enough and honest enough to give me my taxes. Don't collect it for me. Okay. Um, Bring about a policy, an act, a law that is going to help me collect my own taxes and develop yeah. my own people. That's the way I think that is what is supposed to happen. That is the way forward. Yes. That sudden, is the right sudden, way to suddenly, go forward. Suddenly, suddenly. And yeah. I, I think you've made, I mean, mentioned very interesting points. No. I wish there was more time. Um, we could have, I have some critical questions to ask as to how these things will happen, but I think we will need more time. And <coughs> when we get into the campaign, I'm sure we will have you back we'll here. Have yeah. But I have another, another question. This is not related to chairmanship election or whatever. I, Ask. But it's a burning issue in the country. Mm -hmm. And as someone aspiring for a public office, mm -hmm. um, as a politician, mm -hmm. um, I think this should be a concern to you. This yeah. has to do with the level of corruption in the country. Mm -hmm. um, Amnesty International, sorry, not Amnesty, Transparency International mm -hmm. um, reported that um, Gambia is ranked 110 out of 180 countries, only better than 70 countries in corruption, as small as we are, mm -hmm. um, index. I mean, also, the National Audit Office report is out. It's been there, and the former Auditor General came out to grant interviews on a lot of things that are happening from the Banjo project to the timber trade, um, sure. to the, um, the secure report, and a lot of other issues. 
I mean, are you concerned? Do you believe that this corruption is a problem in this government? And are you worried? And what can you do if you become chairman of the Kame Area Council? I know this is not directly under your domain, but what plans do you have? Are you worried that this government is not dealing with um, the issue of corruption? And how best do you want to work with the relevant authorities to ensure that this is addressed, especially when it comes to revising the um, Local Government Act and all that, to make sure... I, 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 of course, I mean, um, I have had interviews, several interviews, and people ask me whether I believe there is, corrupt, there is so much corruption. That you, you cannot say no to. There is corruption. There is, a corrupt, there is corruption at an alarming rate at every sector in our society. It's not only bad. I, my take on it and the way I see it may be different from an ordinary opponent of the government or so, but of course there is a corruption. In fact, I would have told that after the change of government, let's say from the coalition to NPP government, I believe, I, I, I definitely thought there were some ministers that were going to be taken to court. Mm. I remembered going out with the president to look around the level of, you know, the level of you know uh, progress with the roads mm -hmm. you know around the country and i and i never hide that you know and and you know some roads that had their contract signed four months six months ago it was all when we reached there that was the day they were using these tankers water tankers to 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 water the roads there were there was zero job there and of course i mean i i, I personally well, i personally in the presence of ami bojang told the president, you cannot leave this as it is. Bailamin job has an issue, a serious corruption issue. And I, if I were you, he jail. But you know, he said, you know, you know it's you not the, the way president. you say. Bill, you said you to jail. I'm going 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 to jail. Minkeda, nden ntolbe nga kelo ke wala puru banko e doku. Bari minkeda nga minji jang. Bailamin job has to answer to questions. Mimbe NRA has to answer to the questions. Billahi. Abe dunka moto kona bota salfa na salol. And nida le you would have taken him to jail. Nida, nida, mba, mba, mba prosecute la abita jail. Because that was an outright, you know, irresponsibility. Maybe I'm young, that's why this, the way I see things... You don't, some no, say I'm not, yeah, yeah, a genius. But, you know, look, if you are given responsibility, you have to do them. Yeah, yeah fam. To those kind of things and many other people, many along Kondeng Amira, ye kuoke, ye bondi drong, ye 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 bondi, ye yamfe, muslaha. That is, that womu alaya womu kujo balt. But, 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 jite, jite. So, corruption, <laughs> I am very concerned. It, it concerns me. And every day, I said it. Ndola e birkama area council. Na example of a jan. Mm -hmm. There are many people who are not going to be able to do it. That is a big problem. Moli e kodo di, e kodo di, e kodo di la, nga mwai wato do nin collect all tata, business o dolto, business ti ol ka official ol call office le, official ol ka voka hanal mo ola kodo koleka la tuje. On what basis, what laws empower any senior official to stop? No, okay. Because I'm interested in going there. One way I am going to deal with this issue, I've said it. Mm -hmm. Digitalization, digitalization, digitalization. I'm going to get the best of tech companies. I'm a tech person myself. We're going to involve them. We make sure. There is a way I'm going to deal with this. Jani kada muso ya yala dalas tangu le kodo. Afa mobile be mobile bulu momo kwa afiro kama sero mobile be bulu. Mbita afiri selenga da kiu selenga da kumi amko okay sign muso fele sign. Masimo mbol da dalas ninta tayar ela fengo mu ten dalas ilet ngafa afiri sele ten dalas credit table. Afiri sele o kodi madin ngafa rebo kenola ni be kiu sele ike la bidi kolo wafi mobile be bulu. Ila bidi ko three hundred dollars ilo. Ngavo. That is it. Afrisel. Duka na kiusel. Come yom. Three hundred tabulu. There will be a system that will help us integrate those. Geta ajere ki ya tap. Afrisel three hundred tabulu. Hani man kodo soto. Nge don't. Iman tax jobi. Sinindinye kredit sa Afrisel ya tabulu. 
Afrikaelia na kododi. Ni okay. Molta sunya roke no. But the other thing that you know empowers corruption in this country is low wages. Ni molbe do kola i empower. Yeah. So we want to help with all these revenue collections. Mm -hmm. Hanna tuma. Ninde mu CEO ti walante mu chairman oti na salary at certain point mba jindila le. Moto wali minka sang, moto, moto daja wali be sana chairman wali CEOs. That, that's, that is irresponsible as far as I am concerned. So, mwoli minu bita collection wala, i empower. I train, ya itandila corruption wala is an issue, ye empower. Bar nimi mfanambula da corruption wala kono. A punish punish nyala mi alonka jowi ata back because corruption waka musu musu kono ma le fanyi mbangu waka mm -hmm. ibuka wulu kendo soro dialysis masinolu birikama area council sa sanole we can take over birikama health center because primary facilities and secondary local governments are allowed to own those mm -hmm. we can take over entirely the staff everything for birikama health center we can buy five, six, seven dialysis machines for our people in West Coast. But how many dialysis machines do we have? How many people die of kidney failure here? A lot of them because the money you collect from people doesn't get to the, the, the covers of the country. So, but the DJ, you know, you take a Birkham area council level, but in the meantime, I mean, I mean, not directly, but in Birkham area council level, I mean, I mean, well, I've, I've looked at the, I have looked at the audit report. Uh -huh. And there were issues, issues with the audit the report. Yeah. I, I, I read it. Yeah. The audit report is there for everybody that read English to yeah. see. Yeah. There are issues. Uh, that is example I'm saying. Go. Iko. Kari tata la e kodo collect 5,000. Another I 2,000 nedi. Become area council. That was in become area council. And there were instances when in fact people were caught. And they were supposed to be disciplined. What did you obey for? What did you did report of you? I read it. The, the, so final question, because as I can call it, I have Sankarab. my final one. Yeah, it's just a follow up. It's just a follow up. <laughs> so let them in for. Or maybe before you get that, let me just do a follow up quickly. Okay, go just ahead. Just a quick. Yeah, okay. just be, you mentioned that um, bar, if you were a barrow, by Lam and Job, for example. But, I'll send him to you. Yeah, but I'm also saying that like barrow couldn't do that. His hands are tight in the sense that. Look at the Banjul project. Bayramin Job has questions to answer, right? But Baro equally has questions to answer. No, because but that was on the Bayramin Job. No, but I'm coming, no, Kanale. What I'm saying is that <coughs> this man went up to the state house, office of the president. And in Baro finally me down. Baro said what he said was too good to believe. In as much as Bailamin has questions to answer, even the office of the president has questions to answer. Security board office of the president has questions to answer. So Baro wouldn't be able to do anything because our former Al Nako, his office is not even clean. With regards to these all things. I mean, I mean, uh, okay, so like I said, for me, what I was supposed to say, I said it. Uh, but what about the office of the president? The, well, uh, so, so whether it's the office of the president mm -hmm. or the office of the super president, corruption is corruption. Yes. And nobody should condone corruption. Mm -hmm. Because it kills, also be it destroys lives. Yeah, all should be punished. If, ba if Bailamin should go to jail, maybe the president should be impeached as well. Well, you, you know, I, I, I don't I think, know. Yeah, no, I think you should <laughs> I, say that. So if Bailamin should no, go to so, jail, the so, president no, should be So maybe, maybe, maybe I have told my president, I have told Barrow my opinion. And if Barrow did not, and of course you have National Assembly, this is an oversight institution an equally independent and powerful institution. They have seen the, 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 the audit reports. They have seen what happened. And I think they also know the law. In because they the form, Mr. President, you should be impeached. No, no. no, 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 no. Finally, finally, finally Gide, um, we, we talked about all this. Um, the audit, we're talking about audit reports. We have seen councils going to the National Assembly. We have seen uh, audit reports on the security report, the Office of the President Rehabilitation, the AKI issue, the, the Banjul's... Uh, all of these, mm -hmm. just yesterday, Global Fund, mm -hmm. government refunding taxpayer money to Global Fund because someone somewhere ate the money, right? Yes. Uh, Dr. Banja was sent to jail for what? $50,000. But we have seen people, AKI, AKI, government care are defending. COVID. Even COVID. You know, COVID funds, how many million? 600 and something million. Now, the president has just set up a commission of inquiry to, commission, to, to do a commission on local councils. Now, local councils is less than 2% of all of these budget amounts that we are talking about. And it's on, uh, some people are arguing that 
Um, yes, the president has these powers. He has presidential commission. He has the powers to set it up. But in line with good democracy and good practices, if the, and even moral issues, if the president wants to set up commissions of inquiry, for example, if the COVID funds is 649 million and councils we are talking about 9 million, 10 million, 11 million, where should the priority lie if this is not political? So um, this particular commission that you're talking about on local governments, mm -hmm. um, I was asked and yeah. I have made my views. Mm -hmm. No, like anybody has a view. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, of course, you know, big um, uh, corrupt activities are difficult to deal with, more difficult than smaller things. But when I was asked about this local government commission thing, mm -hmm. this equally came out of the audit report. I'm sure just like other corrupt allegations that mm -hmm. were made. Yeah. Um, this also came from the audit report. For mm -hmm. me, if I were an advisor to Baro, if I were Baro, I was going to go 100% by the recommendations of the Office of the Auditor General. Because okay. Auditor General made it clear what happened and what should happen. Yeah. Instead of creating commission, I will just tell the, 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 exactly. the auditor general, the population that, hey, these are grave concerns. And, you know, for anybody that is logical, of course, you cannot, you cannot leave hundred million dollars here and want to audit or, and want million. to investigate ten million. I mean that that to me probably is 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 is, is kind of a, I mean a mistake in some sort. Mm. So if I were Barros advisor, I if I were one of his that. advisors, mistake, let me be gentle. No, but that's not bro. mistake. No, don't uh, be gentle. You know, that's, I mean, that's not I, mistake. I'm talking about my president here. <laughs> Let's make that clear. Ah, no, yes. Yes. Okay. So, but I, uh, with all honesty, mm -hmm. this would have been. Very okay, because what is commission going to do? How would they investigate? These are, I mean, you have an institution that can do that for you without, you know, setting up a commission, and that is the police. Mm -hmm. the, the auditor general, when they do things and all of that, you can refer it to police. Mm -hmm. Financial intelligence unit and all of that. Give them the responsibility. And I saw every Gambian that mm -hmm. every single issue that the auditor's office, because this is an independent institution that is established by an act of parliament. Mm -hmm. Very important institution. Yeah. So just give, you know, the go ahead to National Assembly, give a go ahead to the police to investigate every single allegation that was raised by the auditor general office as simple as that and my hands are clean, hands are clean. yeah before you you know come to this one and people started saying ah you touch this you don't touch this you are politically biased and all. i mean come on i wouldn't i wouldn't have advised barrow and if i were barrow i wouldn't have done what he did because he made the job even more difficult you have a, an entire police force with thousands of people without any job they are there sitting they have give them a job to do without paying them these commissioners you are going to pay them a lot of money yeah. from the taxpayers' money. Why not you give that role to an institution that you are not even going to are pay? Are you any? worried that you are not going to be nominated? There are rumors that you did. Um, as far as you so you see, I have had an extensive <laughs> discussions and all of that mm -hmm. with the people. I, you never know what can happen, but there is nothing as at now that we know that is going to stop us from nomination. Yeah. I wouldn't have resigned from a, a lucrative judge yeah. just to come. Because if it's residence, if it is residency, that is, has been cleared, SFL and others, you know, residency. Yes. If it is citizenship, NPP candidate, UDP candidate and you are all, you know. No, we, but, 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 but in fact, so that is not even in the act. But the what act else? No, I'm just, I'm the, just, the I'm constitution, just uh, yeah. dual, dual, dual Cid nationality yeah. only applies applies to, to presidency, presidency yeah. vice national assembly and cabinet and cabinet minister. exclusively yeah so what else is there why why is this rumors flying that you know, they are they are, they I, are I, I think to i think gambians are very smart mm. they're trying to kind of preempt to make sure if there is any issue that they think Government might try to use secretly to disqualify a potential opponent. Yeah. They just throw light. I think that's the smart move they are making. 
I, I think it, some of these people that are bringing these rumors are very smart. Yeah. They know these are possibilities, so they just throw it there for the public to know that, hey, they may do this. And if there is any plan being implemented by the parties accused, they might come to realization that this is not possible because... And perhaps it will help us too get prepared, speak to our lawyers, get them prepared to make sure no body gets us by surprise. Come on, the come on, uh, West Coast and Coal Minkey. Left half of the West Coast and Coal is a funding that we have to do. It's a project that we have to do. We have to do it. 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 We have to ini mborolo bita ita siyo banko kaya jambula. Bari miye nati olo mnyindiko banko mwola na fulo. Fuarolu mbama nyolo minu kata na kolto. Ikata ajibo ndirola. Ani mfanyo minu katiol ning nyolo doku ika na mojo. Ilao kodindi ngo yolo kafunyo ka yenki konga ta karang. Bari yake dalilo minka mwole mni karante pareta. Muru na ye minkara yena yena balunya ya fali ya sambanyato. Nyine yen sambana. Lafta funding ke be anin nanyol mbese kafunyoma. Ali ye karte ufai Ahmad Jite ye. Nyin local government election o minkana. Isaje nga na funding ke ulu empower do kukula. Anin kanyi million tansa bo mimfo sawo sang. Nanyol unsa la gadi nol sansang. Nin solta al tora la je. Nse marse ul dadali ye. Ntata birika ama marse uto sinya dandang. Nifu tata fish market. Buo sunka wakala file efa la je. Adu woman ke fendi mi alonko. Ali ya deserve atolo. Marseol te minu mbuli be siri ndula alto taring. Mbe Marseol dadala dula alto. Adu mba make sure la fanang. Dindi walu minu fali me kobeng. Mba katala nga scholarship opportunity li njini ye. Nintala mansa kunda ringo na anata. Mwolu mi alonko ye dingol mula njur tol leti. Ntolu ko. We will allocate. Mbe kodo landila mi alonko. Lanjur to dindi ngolu mbewol dam malel mako yele yele la karan wala fanal. Adun doku kuo fana. Momo ni atu mako yebe doku wala ntele koto keme o keme. Mba kata la ni mo keme lom. Doya ta nyao nya. Motang minu be doku kela birikama area council. Ebe kela lanjur trollet. Adun toluko ni mbe bungo lola mbe loptano ni ndulal dada la saing. Mba kata la le nga lanjur troll fanal ta nge keta je. Nga elevate wal soto esa je. Mwole se akses soto. Puru lanyu tuol fanang. Nenamu bunja ngolti. Ise elevate wol soto nwe sele. So nyil ni mkuja ma lel bembulu. Atol mimbe san maini ndinkira alto. Nimol kachata le ko. Alla resources. Ikata. Bari niye kato njibe kabiri ndinding. Kenya bila alkatambina. Ikata kato ni ngunjuri kana. Nita ata bi kato. Bila kato ndoyata. Bila atata koma dina. Walundi jani kenye biyo kake. Ndoluko, niye fengo bi molia, nafa fengo ya bondi molia. Inyanta nafa murundile yale. Adu lafta nimfondi nkeolu, saate alfalu, nyindula albeto coastal villages, niye si. Nimanza kundaye kacha, ila ministeri mi mantra ukuwa la kaje ko. Mola fengo li mingi alia tebulu ila kungu kenolto. Sae buka kungu odo kuno je. Uo fengo li nyante muna fanale, ani dingolu. Nga nyinle sota la ni mkuja malu. Mbari musu kendo. Akatu mkungo kukila wate wate. Mbari mbari musu kende ba. And of course let me say this ko. We apologize. I apologize on behalf of my party. Mwolu minu ke criticize ke neng kakumol foye. Kafoye mu keri UDP. I don't believe in that. Because yi natale opportunity di NPP di wala. Ike mwobye nyini nka di same question nila. Minu mamfeno wale buka anzano. <laughs> You've not stopped me from answering any question. Nothing, absolutely. You ask me questions you want. Mm -hmm. How I answer them yeah. are my problems. Yeah. So, mbe tendula mbe jaila. Ado NPP mkolu, we will continue to work with you. Definitely. Especially me. Definitely. So, nge tendula doku kendola. Imu banku din kendoldi. Yemo sunku din din jama. Wale bijam. Sungkutin ni nyimma bal, ibijam. Bari muzo bendebu ya. Bari ibijam. I'm sure ko 90% of your staff, sungkutin ni ngolem. Ye empower ebe salaril di lela. Pankutin kendo bebu nyinat. Amerika kaito bebu lenda nga kalamutan. Ten yeta si Amerika yela kuol ki je si ye pare ye kodi baso. Bari seta nang. Ibe tax joka, ibe namo joka. Ye doko di mol. 
woto mansa kunda kende o mansa kunda kende mm-hmm. wala mo kende o mo kende be wo mansa kunda kende kon mm-hmm. wol nyande de tentula le jay mm-hmm. as an employer in this country and congratulations for an award by GRA but in come faran koto ma kamal de yanguba am i invite dina it's a fine ngal tendu ngal jay sawa e kono ko na man sa kunda fa na man sa kunda ringo na man sa kunda ringo na man sa so you know kodol bi jende tambi no lawla ha ba de ngatendu nga jay because molia fo nyal jannin kana ko nyay is a very tough guy but he been ak malon for afana he has joined you know a band of those that felt i was I mean, unjustly people, treated so he's been that. very nice today he's he, at his softest <laughs> no so but he's right here body all of but mbalal you can control no one thing camera be tell us it's all right i think i'll just say but i'll come back in other day it was an interesting discourse definitely. but i hope that we will have you back we'll here yeah 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 and, and definitely i want to i want to cuz i'm from west coast mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i want to take this opportunity to organize a town hall with the candidates from west coast oh. i want to do that i want I'm to organize a town, hall, to that. a town hall i will reach out to yankuba dabo and you and please CD. do you know city is my uncle i will reach out to all of the candidates let's do a town hall west coast deserve the best per candidate to win yeah. and that's why <clears> people <throat> like me i have said this i am going to I, i think this election i'm going to endorse somebody from west coast yes. because you know you know how much i pay for garbage in this place a lot a I lot know. of money yeah. in my house in km i pay 10 dollars per trip but that's why when president baro said dollars the guy hey president baro in my office i pay 300 a trip in km yeah. i pay 25 or 10 dollars and i want that for here so that's why i want a good candidate in km so i want to reach out to the the three candidates to do a town hall a big town hall i'm not doing it for all other regions but for K, for west coast i want to do that so i'll reach out to you your campaign i'll reach out to yankuba campaign and the cd campaign and you know and also i think there's another jenaba from ppp yes and also the no to alliance will also bring a candidate Hopefully. so we'll reach out and do a town hall like yeah. good town hall and listen to your programs yes. let's talk about the programs and leave the petty things out and yep. let's see what is best for for our policy region. based campaign i don't think all for na mole mo nentije fen nentije min ku mata ja wolom de electoral mbe minkele nga ofoy mm-hmm. alkane danku mola ne seyas minu be kumol fala ntol man time soto wali ntol ten na hajol bulana ndanga na doku kendo bula jang nata jang ngonni mola kana nyo sa bol wala nyo to telindiro ntambita wala la sai ntambita wala ha policy and program based campaign pure and pure abarka bake jide thank you very much to the jide campaign for coming you were supposed to come last week but last minute will change that we thank <coughs> you for always honoring our invitation always anytime any hour yeah. from the brunch kirfa to politic kacha you have been on all of them and we want to thank yeah. you for that Shalom. until we come next week inshallah ramadan karim sunte wato manja for back bye bye thank you Yirwa men kafata na tarambulo luto nga GIA Kago Complex Parendile purka Julaya Sone Yandi kadungoni mfunti bunda na doko sembentu ya Banjul International Airport oto mensi nyafa si moluma melka fengolu ki bantala bankolu kan anin julandi ngolu fana faisi sulan na kago doko la bang katu masingolu be mbulule ikafume ye forklifts melka selendiro ni jindiro ke baka solula melbe funti kan waranto kaduna na warehouse olu kono nga dinkira sumayari ngolu fana sotole ifula milla fano mu metare kemeleti karo bela adun isi kago baka solu tano mensita for ton town war ila suma ya fana futata tembeleto menka fendolu mabono fo ikana tinya fo sene fengol lombang domori fengolu waranto jata kende ani bori ma fengolu kago baga solu la taradula kendo asulata jamani la bang korosir langolu lela na double view extra korosir la masingolu aka kago baga so kono kono jubele komi kago do ko sartoli ya landi nyameng nyin double view extra amu jamani la bang rapid scanality menka karafula korosiro keno kago sifa bela watikil ngokono na dokulalo imu ayata karandingol leti 
ye la doko no e faraman sata kago doko na tamandiri nyato na doko la betea we am footing the RA3 Maka Moleto. Men sat in the four, and the cargo bagasso lookinole, Kata UK and in EU Banco Lukang. GIA, Kahakili Tenkumo Dila na do quarter, itenina la men. Every day is a new opportunity. Make sure our first impressions are always our best, and to see possibilities on the horizon. To make our facilities and services more accessible and find freedom all around us. With a location proximity to active markets with a liberal air transportation policy. That daily pursuit is how we turn everyday opportunities for you. For all destination marketing support, customized packages for new existing airlines and operators and for a highly ranked tourist destination, the Gambia Civil Aviation Authority is here to serve. We regulate air transport, operate and manage BIA technical requirements, merge with commercial considerations. We have experienced and well-trained aviation professionals to cater for your needs. For investment opportunities in building airport hotels, shopping malls, playground for children, do contact us on 4472-831, 4472-893. Gambia Civil Aviation Authority. We go beyond daily. Yiruwa men kafutan na tarambulo luto nga GIA cargo complex parendile puruka julaya sone yandi kadungonin funti bundana doko sembentu yabu.